For those of you who don't know me, I am Jesse's sister. I'd like to start off by congratulating my sister and now officially my brother. I never knew Andrew before Jesse started dating him, so I can't tell you horrible, embarrassing stories about Andrew. <laughs> so stand by. <laughs> But I can tell you that from what I've seen so far, he is perfect for Jesse in every way. They complement each other so well, and she has truly found her match with Andrew. Jesse, I want to tell you how beautiful you look tonight. Thank you for being the best sister in the world. I love you so much, and we've shared so much together, and I'm happy that I can share this important moment with you today. I remember when Andrew first told me he was proposing, and he told me how and when he was going to do it. And I should have told him right then and there to stop and don't give me any more information. But I let him keep going, and the minute Jessie saw me, she saw it on my face. And she bugged me and pestered me until I cracked. So he had to change some things around. <laughs> She knows me so well, and we have no secrets from each other. So, everyone please raise your glasses. Here's to the newlyweds. Take each and every day and cherish each other. You guys are a beautiful couple, and I wish you the best. I love you both. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> Taylor needs a cousin. <laughs> That's all I got.
And then we had a couple who drove all the way from West Virginia, 18 hours, just to attend this. Carmel and Rosanna, thank you so much. Well, you know, Jessica was my best friend when she was age 12, and I was her best friend. And we golf every week. And uh, she's probably going to kill me for telling this story. But most of you have already heard it because I'm so proud of it. But she was a really good golfer, I thought. Uh, she took my money lots of times <laughs> on, on a Sunday event. And um, she would never try out for the golf team at school. She was shy, and she didn't think she was good enough. Well, I knew she was good enough. And uh, on her uh, 12th grade year, the very beginning, uh, I got her a Honda Civic, uh, a used one. She chose it. She had a choice of a new one or a used one. And the uh, new one, the requirement would be is, is that once she finished college, she'd have to pick up the payments. Or she could get a used one and it would be free. She picked the used one. Most girls would not do that. Uh, so anyway, I told her I would buy her a spoiler to put on the back of her Honda Civic, which these things are pretty pricey. They're six, seven hundred dollars, I guess. If she would just try out one day for the senior golf team. And she says, well, what happens if I don't make the team debt? I said, well, you get the spoiler, it's free. I mean, it's just a, a one-day thing. She said, well, I'll do that. That day, the coach called me up, and he says, I'm coach so-and-so. He says, Mr. Tyson, I got one question to ask you. Where in the hell has she been? <laughs> you know, so I tried to explain, well, I'm trying to get her out, you know. But anyway, um, she won Most Valuable Player two weeks in a row, even over football players at school. And she won Most Valuable Player for her golf team that year. So, uh, I cannot tell you how proud I was. And then when she became 18, she became mom's best friend and quit golfing. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm through with these stories. Uh, now the most serious part is, is that I can tell you that uh, that these two are madly in love. And uh, really do I cry. I've already cried three times tonight, and I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> and I'm damn sure I'm not going to allow the best man to bail me out. <laughs> All right, almost four here. <laughs> um, I would like to make a, a, a toast to the bride and the groom, to longevity, love forever, and give me some grandchildren. Now it's time for music and dancing. Woo! Yeah.